Now, last week we had Noi in danger, and now this week we have Nikaido in danger. Welcome back, guys, to episode 10 of Dorohi Doro. Now, N has finally found his ideal partner that can use kind of time related magic, which is obviously being revealed as Nikaido. So he pretty much decided then to summon a fucking mushroom out of her whilst using his very sexy mushroom vision. So, I definitely want to make sure that A, Nikaido is alright, and then now I'm really curious to see what kind of tactic N is going to use like what his kind of game plan is to kind of capture Nakoto as his partner. Without further ado, let us get into this episode. If you guys want to watch live, we send the video in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Is there a for today? I wonder why. Oh no, it was for the party. Mm. <gasps> Sensei? Oh! Shaki! Go Johnson! Go Johnson! Go Johnson! Fuck him up Johnson! Fuck him up Johnson! Fuck him up Johnson! <gasps> no, my boy Johnson! Did she just throw hot sauce? <laughs> Ooh. It's the devil again. Ooh, enhance your magical power. Oh, so that's why she's kind of keeping it hidden in the basement. I do feel bad. Nakata just kind of keeps constantly getting dragged into the sorcerer world, even though she's kind of. Fuck him on Nakata! Ooh, she's so sexy, Mama. You be sexy. Ooh, that was scary, but you still be sexy. This guy literally pukes out. Ooh. Gee, ooh, this is a very odd feeling of arousal. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that blood. I, don't, I just don't like anything about that. Oh, it was a trap door. Oh, that was, that was cool. That was a good move. A tactical move. Oh, oh, this went, she went down real fast. I did expect us to literally at the like straight away for N and Nakoda to kind of meet because they they have me like they obviously kind of know each other but the reason they know each other is because Nakoda literally kind of broke into their base and was like what's up I'm taking um Rizu. So like they're not on the best of terms I feel because like we can't also forget the fact as much as we like N and um uh not N um Noi and Shin, they did kind of beat the shit out of this. So like, I know there's like no hard literal feelings going on there. It's just like, you know, it's just work, guys. Uh, but still, uh, they're just not, you know, they're not on buddy-buddy terms. So that worries me. Just curious to see exactly how their um kind of overall interaction will go down, I guess. But that said, though, I love that guy with the bread mask next to N. So I'm always just like, N, you already have a partner. So like... Stop it. And like, Nikaido, you belong to Kaiba. But I know, like, partner's nothing romantic. It's more just, like, um, to strengthen each other's magical powers. But I just don't think Nikaido wants to be here. I think that's the main point. I don't think Nikaido wants to be here. She doesn't want to use her powers because there's a reason... Well, I think it's pretty obvious now that the reason she doesn't want to go back to the sorcerer world or use her magic is because it's time-related. So she must have maybe accidentally activated it or maybe just use it without really thinking and it has a lot more consequences. Lonely Kaima. Oh, Kaima. Oh, Blue Knight's not over yet. So N could just force a contract with her. The pies. <laughs> I 
Just wave at the devils. They we knew that was gonna be a sentence right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but technically he used to roost the head. Can you st stop it? <laughs> Ooh, I've never seen an a bit fearful or like panicked. Mikado's part of the devil gang, isn't she? Ooh, what do you mean? Oh, they want to be partners. Wait, no, oh, wait, I'm a little bit confused. Does it really seem to be consenting to me? Uh, yes, definitely not. This is, I, <laughs> I know this is just partnership, but it's just like the way they can't, you know, it's in a church, even though it's like in a devil church. She's like tied up and we're just gonna ignore what's happening there. <laughs> she ate the meat pie. Yeah, oh. Oh, now I can heal her, um, and then you can be girlfriends, and then is, am I seeing an ABC boo? I'm very confused. That was just weird. Anyways, did you not heal her? Did you just scrub the, am I, I'm so confused. Are we just having like a bachelorette and bachelor night? Like what? I know this ain't a marriage, but what the fuck is going on? The fuck? I love how this is very consensual and all like happy lovey dovey and I do Okay, too many things just happened there that I have too many So uh um... So okay, okay, firstly Nakaido is now kind of partnered with Oh, did you not become partners? Oh, because Ebisu had to take a shit. Oh. Oh. Search for a social retirement layer has been well known and he's actually gotten one now. How does this work? How are you partners if she... see anything what's going on oh oh you judge it what I still question why I find that really cute <laughs> look at that tongue <laughs> the dog is so calm How does partnerships work if it's not consensual? I know it's like, once again, I know it's not bloody marriage and stuff, but like... Are they just going to torture her to use her magic? Like... <laughs> Shocking. 
I love Johnson. I fucking love Johnson. Give me a fucking love Johnson t-shirt right here. I don't think he actually has blood on his hand. Maybe he's hallucinating again. Is that maybe Rizu? Is this the apartment that Rizu was in? Where exactly is this? I love how the spikes punches the pillow every time. Oh, something, something's a bit weird. That guy seems to have a bit of like a knowing what's happening face. Maybe this is memories of him as Aoi Kawa. Together with Nakaida. Okay, this guy's gonna either fuck this guy up or... <laughs> nah, I think he's cool, I think he's cool. That's why you're breaking homeless. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> I said I gotta help you, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> I really love all the um kind of side sorcerers we've met. Like the needle guy, this like pie president. When someone's in trouble, it isn't in my nature to give them a hand. I think that um they do this like purposely to show that like not sorcerers are like evil and selfish. Oh he nice one. Wait, is this still a trap? Am I complimenting him too quickly? The prison. Scary manju, what? It might, I mean, it makes sense that the prison's closest to her. Shimizu. Oh, that's actually really sad. I mean, I was actually pretty used to it. You look quite suiting to the sorcerer well and hell. Devil much. These pies must be really good. Fry better than my face. <laughs> K. 
casual dialogue in the Salsa world. I'm still not used to that though. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Kaiba? What the fuck? His ghost said, so they all seemed quite. Did the boss tell you to come? Who's the boss? No! We just need to see the hand, just the hand. Oh my god, we're gonna go to hell. This is gonna be fun. Come and let go. We don't wanna go to hell. Oh. Okay. You know what? There's so much weird shit going on, but I just don't question it anymore. Go save your girlfriend. <laughs> Okay, so the, the devil was kind of on Nikaido's side. Oh, that was such like a boss beat. Like a ramen business? A singing business? But the mushroom magic won't work on Kaima. Oh, this must be maybe when N went berserk mode. Death shroom incidents. Is she your woman? Ah. Oh. At least you're honest. <laughs> oh my god, I love that back walk. Like, doesn't even turn around, just like reversal back walk. <laughs> I really like the Doc's character. Oh, Johnson made a buddy. Friendship! Motherfucking friendship! <laughs> I know, my God, I fucking love this. I don't know why I love that moment so much. Make peace with cockroaches, not war. <laughs> I thought Nakoda was part of the devil. Or maybe Asu like kind of kept it under the ground because he's probably maybe like a head de devil. Oh, okay. So, so. Oh, Fuji, Fuji. I hate this. Oh my god, they sold our soul. Oh shit. I'm against this as well. Oh okay, well you're not we're not against this for the same reason, but I'm still against it. Oh, 
Oh, this breaks my heart. This is fucked up. Are you still, okay, <laughs> still, still find it a bit weird that you have part of my Samara around your neck. Yes! What the fuck is that? Oh, that's that's Johnson. Which one? Which one? Which one? like I'm done. Every single shark again. Shark, 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 shark. <laughs> no money, no luck, and no friends. Keeps going on about this much smarter guy. He's so yeah. <laughs> So much shit is happening this episode. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love how Fujiwara still protects her. Oh no. Oh, fuck no. Oh no. I don't know whose side I'm on. Oh. <laughs> I like the dog. But they, oh, shit, that was another weird sexy arousal. <laughs> I used to, oh my god, where do I even start with the um, crazy shenanigans that has just occurred? But that's it though. This looks like different Andy. Oh. Wait, I'm so lost. This is a bit of a fusion of like that door kind of ending but also a fusion of that game ending, but in reversal. And I like that because you know how Kaima kind of walked in reversal. So like we also had the game in reversal. I know that was such a short scene. It didn't probably really matter, but what is happening? This ending explains what just happened this episode. Just what is happening? <gasps> Kikimara! <laughs> yeah, so sweet copy. Oh, that was so cute. This is this is like a, literally a fusion of endings, but I think that perfectly relates well to this week's episode because it's just like literally so much stuff. Oh, Kikiwa, is it Kikiwara? What, can I just call it Kiki? Um, but that was so cute. I just find that I want one of those. I want a plushie of those. I want someone to make a plushie of that and I want it. And what we learned from the 10th curse and has the Kaido in his hands, Kaima's nightmares are a gateway to his past. Devil, mind you, can cost you a life. Okay, I'm not even gonna attempt to talk about literally all the crazy shenanigans that went down. That like that um contract partner thing where they literally just opened their heart and grabbed I don't know what that piece of flubber was, but then they signed it and they shove it back in, and now Nikaido's like a zombie because she's controlled by Anne. And I don't know how that's gonna go down because contracts are renewed kind of every four years. So does that mean there's no way of kind of breaking Nikaido out unless the four year kind of contract time is over? Okay, the biggest thing I want to kind of touch back on is Kaima's nightmares as well as the fact that he was able to bite down on that guy with the cross art mark. I feel like that revealed quite a lot of hints from this um, episode to kind of who exactly Kaima is, especially considering the curse mentions Kaima's nightmares are a gateway to his past. So it is definitely really important what his nightmares are kind of about. So an overall theme I'm kind of getting is that Rizu is in Kaima. Rizu was on a mission set by the boss. I don't know if that guy that set him that task was the boss or not, or if we still haven't met the boss of the cross side. Oh my god. I was just thinking right now on the spot about what I was going to explain, but then something clicked and I'm going to explain what just clicked. You know how Rizu was murdered by a knife and someone mentioned that knife was really important? Who else wields a knife, guys? That exact same knife. Kaima. It's that exact kind of like um small kind of pocket knife, very like razor kind of 
like blade and I don't know why that just clicked I was like thinking about what to explain and then I was just like thinking about the way Rizu was murdered and thinking back to how Rizu got murdered and then I was just like wait knife because in this episode Kaima just right near towards the end he kind of like slots in his knife and that scene both those scenes like literally just like pop flash in my head why I think this is important I don't know if that was really obvious and you guys are just like relaxed you know that was super obvious but I kind of guess that Awikawa is Kaima because both Kaima and Rizu are kind of like connected and they're both looking for each other and when we got in that past scene we realized that Rizu kind of talking to his partner and I kind of assumed that was Awikawa and Rizu was um and I think Awikawa offered to go with Rizu but Rizu was like oh no the boss or someone told me to go alone so now I'm thinking that maybe the guy that gave Rizu the task to kind of sell that case of powder. I'm not too sure what that exactly was. Awikawa already knew of that and that's why he was technically waiting for him out front to kind of track him and go with him. So and that would make sense because Awikawa technically let's say kills Rizu and maybe Awikawa maybe eats Rizu and that's why Rizu is in Awikawa and I'm not too sure maybe Awikawa couldn't digest Rizu and so he used the smoke in the case. I don't, I can't remember if it was smoke in the case and that's, let's just say it is Ebisu's and that's why Awikawa transformed into a reptile but during that process maybe like Rizu was too hard to digest and the alarm of Ebisu's powers kind of fucked up the process and that's why Awikawa lost his memory and that's why we now have a character called Kaima but Kaima's not an actual like being it's just a personality that was created during the process and then going back to what i was actually originally going to explain before this all kind of clicked in my head just this kind of random moment was because the nightmare that kaima had in this episode it, he had blood on his hands he walked into that kind of room which i don't know if it was like a reference to the apartment like rizu's apartment but it felt like rizu's body was probably the one that was dead there that's not like something confirmed but i'm just assuming because like since rizu is in kaima there must be some kind of relation that's happening there but the nightmare very came off as though like kaima murdered someone and that memory was trying to be like re-jogged because there was a lot of blood going on blood on his hands yeah kaima kind of had no idea why he had blood on his hands so i think that also kind of like correlates with what i was saying about it might be kaima aka awikawa that killed rizu but since kaima is currently the personality that is alive they just kind of have blood on their hands but they don't realize the reason they were murdering someone or like the reason they killed i'm a little confused myself as to what i'm trying to explain because i've been literally sitting here for like 10 minutes now trying to explain what my thought process was so hopefully that all kind of made sense but yeah overall really enjoyed this episode because i think it just showed like the crazy shenanigans of a world that daughter he daughter is i think these are the great ways to kind of show world building like necessarily we don't talk about the world or that is set in daughter he daughter but we just see all the chaos and just like all the weirdness and the funk and so yeah i think this episode actually had a lot of things to kind of nitpick and talk about as it had a lot of like symbolic hints as to I feel like the overall kind of plot line of things so I'm definitely interested to see how the next two episodes the finale of the season will be wrapped up so until then make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys for episode 11. 